Hey there, Virgo and Libra. Let's go ahead and uh, play cards. So let's see what else we got. That was a mystery, obviously, because I didn't turn it over. Give it two more. And we'll play off of that, please. All right. At the bottom of the deck, that says why. It is talking about what are the people's motives? Why do they do the things that they do? Uh, why do you do the things that you do? Uh, who knows? But somebody wants to know why. Somebody could just be very inquisitive and want to study all sorts of things here. Somebody could be definitely studying something for work, uh, to expand something for family or some shit like that. Or uh, educating yourself in something that like makes you happy, makes you feel good. Mm. All right, let's have a look, see what's going on. The first card out is chop wood, removing things that are not necessary. You don't need them. Uh, definitely something could be messy and need to be cleaned. Somebody could want to pay somebody to do that. Somebody could feel like they do more than somebody else. They put in all these, these efforts. And do the people really care? Uh, what are they really getting out of it? I do feel like this is a big brain mind fuck. Like somebody is, uh, you gotta get out of your way. What is this right here? It says get grounded. So remove the things that you don't want around you because they're making you uh, erratic, wishy-washy, unable to settle. Nine of swords, that's that. Psychological trauma. It's mental anguish. Unable to settle. And this, this, these things are, are necessarily coming from you. Uh, you could be worried and uh, losing sleep over other people and what they're going through. But uh, that's not up to you to take on the other people's things. Ace of Cups in reverse. Also, somebody could not, could like... Be holding on to somebody and not allowing the things to get better. Like somebody won't let something or someone or such some situation go. Somebody is just continually holding on to something that's messy. And then they wonder why the things are a mess. And when the people try to say, well, you know, if you didn't do X, Y, and Z, the people try to make the people possibly feel bad for saying the things. It's like, you don't understand Right, I don't understand. Okay. Again, this is Virgo and Libra. So it's the Three of Swords, deep emotional pain. The Three and the Nine is the Three of Swords, like on repeat. On repeat. Three, 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 three. Like, yikes. So somebody, yeah, this is also, this says, I just looked down, you don't understand. And this says misunderstanding on it. It's not just about a misunderstanding. It's like a great depression, a great heavy burden that the people, they just can't, it's the world. It weighs on people. But you can't depend on the other people to live for you or vice versa. So somebody is not living their full potential because of the people, places, and things that they are involved in and they feel like they have to. But let me tell you, you don't have to. Part of the uh, problems and the lessons and the learning and shit is, is to know when to hands off and it's not, this, this, isn't, this isn't the lifetime to make the things work. All right, so let's see. Uh, so this is the six of wands. I do feel like, so closing out cycles, definitely putting up boundaries with people in the way that they treat you. Seven of swords, somebody gets caught. And, you know, everybody is sorry when they get caught. There's a lot of remorse. Somebody's strategy didn't come to fruition. This also says come clean. So there's something very dirty about the things. All right. What's this? A thinking woman could be anyone that's an air sign. Doesn't have to be. But it's somebody that is educated. They, they know some shits. You know some shits. I mean, who knows? It's a tower. So it could be a Libra, uh, right? It could be any yes, sign that we are. Shut up. I don't know. I hate when you do that. Will you just back up? 
unzip it. Three of Cups. So Christmas is coming. Uh, some people may be forcing themselves to be around other people. Someone may not have may not have seen somebody since like a year ago or something like that. Some some old feelings are being brought back up about this shit here. Also, somebody could just dislike the winter, but it's a high, time of hibernation. Somebody could be looking forward to some hibernating energy. Somebody is talking to, to a group of people about some new creative, artistic, like, endeavor, I guess. Definitely work-related stuff going on here. It's not the first time I've seen the Empress. Someone could be a Taurus or a Libra, because I did see the Hierophant as well, but I don't know. That's too much for me to uh, put together. All right. The Chariot and the Hangman. That's a lot of uh, major stuff right in one little spot. So I feel like life-altering decisions. Somebody has been using some sort of tactics and the people have been falling for this stuff. But it's like, you know, I kind of had enough of this shit. And I really need to just move on. I'm about to take control of me. I get all these great things going for me. And then here you are wanting to hang on and dirty it all up with your grubby little fingers. Eight of swords. Yeah, again, about the, it's in reverse, taking back your power. No longer allowing the people to pull the wool over the eyes or say you're not worth it or you can't have it or you shouldn't. And you know what? Okay, mind your business. Just mind your business. Oh, nine of cups. So wish fulfillment. Do the things that you want to do. There's a lot of wine and drinking out here, so something could have something to do with drinking. It doesn't feel negative, you know, like, do you, people? What's this? The law of giving and receiving. Well, thank you. Cheers. Anyway, I've seen a cat a couple times. I don't even know, but a cat could be relevant or some little, little critter. It would be a mammal for sure. All right, eight of cups in reverse. So there's a lot of dishonesty around, and I, I just feel like the people are getting shits of it. Like you, people, you're gonna get what you put out, people. So let me just. I don't know, tell everyone, like, if you're going to treat me like this, then you better expect me to be coming to you in a certain way. And people are like, no, you don't really like that. That's the moon in reverse. So people are releasing their fears about the, the people and where they're going and who's going to be around and who's there to see. Someone's been faking happiness for a long time. Like a real long time. Secrets out. That's what that looks like with the high priestess. All right, let's have a look. See, a couple other cards for the Virgo and the Libras. I know that's so loud. <sighs> I'm working on it, y'all. Clean up your mess. Ain't that some shit? So I said what I said, y'all. You hear me? Because this is kind of funny. Uh, not funny, but I do love it when, when the cards reiterate all the stuff. So this is also talking about needing to clean the house, clean energy, a wreckage. Uh, somebody is always wanting to say sorry. It's like, well, you know, I got enough of that too, you know? Like, no, thank you. Two things prevent us from happiness, living in the past and observing the future. See, the people have been faking happy. It's like somebody don't really know how to feel the emotions. They're always faking it. Oh, well, don't ever accept an apology from someone that just sucker punched you. That says don't do the things. So I don't know. The whole reading says don't fall into the to to the to the fly trap. If you avoid conflict to keep the peace, you start a war with inside yourself. No longer bending over for the people. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations unknown, and then the people are left looking like, well, what do you mean? Like, uh, now, like, somebody's trying to catch up. They want to, after a breakup, somebody is like, please don't leave me. It could be a feminine, chasing a feminine. Right, yeah, somebody didn't listen to themselves. And also, somebody, like, there's, like, this great leading energy, and it's like the people wouldn't allow themselves to be led with the mask here. So, also, like, lots of learning, 